it's uh, Sunday, Saturday, um, November 27th, and we have a new Delta, oh, sorry, a new uh, COVID variant. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the next letter in the Greek alphabet should have been G, but the World Health Organization skipped it and is calling this variant Omicron. Um, assuming we're they're trying to avoid any uh, additional uh, Asian overtones um, uh, of this particular variant, which is apparently more contagious, um, spreads faster, more transmissible. Um, and given the fact that, um, you know, there have been already so many cases found in the UK and um, they don't all uh, transfer back directly to Southern Africa, we can assume it's um, made its way in small little bits around the globe. Um, so we'll have to see how this plays out. But of course, the COVID idiots and the QAnon morons are now, um, you know, outsmarting us all by pointing out that Omicron is an anagram of moronic. So clearly the World Health Organization is pulling a fast one on us and throwing out this new variant that doesn't exist right before the holidays so they can shut us back down again because that's what the World Health Organization's mission in life is. Um, lockdowns for idiots, apparently. Um, so they're all screaming about, you know, don't be fooled by this one, the moronic variant. And, you know, dear sweet idiot, Lauren Boebert tweets out, um, every variant of the of COVID is the G variant. So she's clearly trying to fan the flames of, um, of racism. She's also complaining that um, Biden put a travel ban on eight Southern African countries where the variant has been most widely spread. Um, obviously that's not gonna contain the whole thing, um, but it's a preventative measure so that uh, you know it can slow the spread while scientists try to figure out how to deal with it. Um, and of course she complains, oh, why, isn't this xenophobic? We're you know, prohibiting people from certain countries to come here. Um, so I guess she's clamoring for open borders now because um, that's what a hypocrite does. And uh, you know, no, Lauren Boebert, the, the, <laughs> The xenophobia was when there was a Muslim country ban, uh, travel ban by, by uh, the former president, Orange Toddler, um, for no reason whatsoever, other than the fact that there are Muslim countries that he didn't do any business in. Um, so that's moronic. And um, addition to her uh, history of racism, gave a speech to, to, with this made up encounter between her and Ilan Omar you know, saying she didn't have a backpack, so we're safe and this fake conversation and then totally had to backtrack on it and say, no, it didn't happen. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, blah, blah, blah. And her supporters are probably just gonna be like, you know, don't apologize. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. Um, I don't understand how anyone can follow her and how these politicians get away with just blatantly making shit up getting caught immediately and their supporters don't care. Go ahead, lie to us. As long as you're saying stuff that we like, lie to us. Um, but when they're told the truth by the World Health Organization um, about a deadly virus, they're convinced they're being lied to. They'll believe a COVID idiot with a gun before they'll believe a scientist with data. 